And then the home invasion thing, too. Yeah, this has just got me now in a tizzy. we uh-huh. got to explain this for the rest of the uh-huh. show. Uh-huh. Patrice is going uh-huh. to white people. He's escape from reality. There you go. we got to explain this for the rest <laughs> of the country. He's making but fun I, of me. But I think the rest of the country could kind of understand this. Yeah. A lot of people move away from the cities to the suburbs because they feel like they're safer. Yeah, you, you move to a place that you think is a safe place. I moved to the north shore of Nassau County. Now, this is an area... That is uh, pretty wealthy, uh, Jewish, a lot of Jews in the area, a lot of rich um, uh, Indians that are doctors, Mm -hmm. you know, they live up there. The book, The Great Gatsby. The Great Gatsby, Uh, yeah, it was set up there, a lot of these things. Teddy Roosevelt's house, you know, North Shore, Long Island, very nice area to live in. Uh, So I figure, hey, I'm going to finally move on up, like George Jefferson, I'm moving on up, I'm going to live there. And not have to worry so much. I lived in Brooklyn for a while. And uh, not, you know, I didn't live uh, in Flatbush or nothing. I lived uh, in Bay Ridge. Nothing ever happened to you, did it? No, it did. It was just, it because it, it, it's fucking Brooklyn. My car was getting keyed. Uh, come out one day and uh, my girlfriend's Jeep had, you know, the window smashed out and the spare tires gone. and Property damage. Uh, yeah, but yeah, and very minor theft. But look what's happening in Long Island. This is the thing. And it's all because there's only one or two cops because there's there's no need to have a police force. Exactly. And now the guy, the, the executive in Nassau County, is in all kinds of deep shit because he wants to cut the cops even more during this time when now we need a shitload of cops. Yeah. I want cops every. I want Nassau County cops. And when you drive through Nassau County, you really don't see that many Nassau County cops. You see uh, some Nassau County Highway Patrol cops, like the guys out on the expressway and parkways and shit, waiting there to pull you over to give you a ticket for speeding. But I want them cruising through those neighborhoods. I want them peeking around, looking. Because there's no crime there. They don't have the one to patrol. But there is crime now. And that's now not it a, is. That's uh, the smart thing to do. And that's not a money maker to be cruising, uh, you know, that up and down the street. No, no, that's not making the revenue. You it's out on the highway. Yeah, you got to hide in a bush. That's, getting the that's speeding how you make pickings. the money. Well, apparently now it's uh, <laughs> easy pickings. That's what Nassau County is now. They found it. It's easy pickings. Well, this has been going on for about a week to ten days, right? Yeah. Now? And, and no, I, this is the past year they've had a, unprecedented numbers of home invasion robberies. And home in invasion, let me tell you, that's, that's uh, again, with my law understanding, Yeah. home invasion is high. It's, it's, almost, it's right under murder. It really is a violent, it's nasty home thing. Home invasion, when coming in somebody's house when they're home turns it into yeah. something where they might as well kill you. Yeah, yeah. Why leave you alive if they're gonna invade your home? Why they you, might if you're home. It's just a horrifying thing to think to have happened. Now, a lot of these people, uh, a majority of the break-ins, if not all of them, are through uh, some type of open door. These stupid motherfuckers in Nassau County have been living like the, they think they still think that they could sleep. Yeah, with their door unlocked, that that's their safety. Look, I can do this. I don't have to lock my door. So I, it, it, it makes me feel like I live in a safe place. Lock your doors, assholes. Batten down the hatches, I say. But why would you do that? Like, you know, you move. What's the point of moving from uh, Brooklyn to go live the same way in Nassau? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you went to leave to be, ha- be safe and feel what it feels like to have, sleep with your doors open, hear crickets. Yeah. You know. Because people like that. It's either doors or windows. What people like doing in the suburbs is sleeping without the air conditioner on. You open up that window, and you hear, yeah, the birds or the crickets. You feel like, ooh, that was a nice breeze. You're smelling outside. That's what you want. That's why you moved there. And now, uh, a, a member of the Latin Kings or the, what, M18 or whatever they're called, no, what's or, the, or the, the, my, my most horrifying one yet, they, they are identifying the gangs. There's, there's three, three gangs. gangs that are doing the home invasion. Is it M18, I think? Oh, there's gangs that are doing the home yeah. invasion. Oh, yeah. These, three these of them. gangs. The Latin Kings, which are huge out in, like, Brentwood in Suffolk County, Long Island, out in that area, uh, they're, they're blowing up out there. They're are they huge. tying up the people? Or? Uh, yeah, they tie them up with the phone cords. They rip the phone cords out. They tie them up. Who has phone cords? I know. You're cordless. You better have a phone cord. <laughs> Those motherfuckers. I'd be like, oh, I don't have phone cords. They're going to kill me. They can't tie me up. They rip it out. Are you going ins- to install an old-fashioned I'm going to have an old-fashioned <laughs> with, with a phone cord. One of those old, big, heavy, black bell telephones. <laughs> and, and they tie you up, uh, blindfold you. They, they, there are kids in a lot of these cases, and they take the kids, 
and they make them uh, lay down on the floor and put pillows over their heads oh. and tell them to stay there. Oh, God, oh, and then they uh, ransack the place. They get the jewelry, computer equipment, and uh, load it into a waiting car. And then they drive off and leave the people there horrified. Well, at least they're not killing them. They're, they're Yet. Uh, Yet. Oops. So the last uh, case, they go in. Uh, this woman uh, comes out of her bedroom, and uh, they kind of rough her up a little, send her back. Then the husband comes out. He's wearing an NYPD shirt, but he's not a cop. So they go bullshit on this guy. Where's the motherfucking gun? Where's the fucking gun, motherfucker? Oh, so they thought he was a cop. Yeah, they yeah. thought he was a cop because he's got the NYPD shirt on. And he's just like, I'm a tourist he's or just, whatever. He's just, they're for sale you everywhere, Pally. <laughs> Why did they ever agree to sell NYPD I know. shirts and hats and stuff? Unless you're a cop, don't wear that shit. I've been in situations where I'm a little scared, but then you see a guy in like a one of those shirts or a yeah. hat, and you're like, oh, all right. Great. And then you realize Works that. Works at the deli. You realize half these guys are just out of towners that just bought the damn <laughs> they thing. They bought it. Before they go back to Iowa. It was right under the fucking <laughs> I Love New York shirt in his drawer, and he pulled that one out. I feel a little fear, but then I see, like, a guy with an FBI shirt on. I'm like, oh, all right. Yeah. He'll know what to do. <laughs> he's got it under control. <laughs> no, you know, he's, he's just some plumber from fucking yeah. Indiana. You look, you look, Anthony kind of looks like he's, like, he lives in a rich, in a decent neighborhood, evidently. Yeah. You look like a, like a mob union representative. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, you look like somebody, like, don't, don't let's not get into any like problems with Like it should be the, some trouble or yeah, something. Yeah, you just yeah, look like yeah. trouble, man. You, you do. <laughs> the Sicilian in me. <laughs> you do look like yeah. trouble. But you like the city, though, right? Oh. Yeah, I really do. Opie likes the city. Uh, eventually, I'll move back out to the suburbs, get a house and stuff. But white people moving back in to the city. Yeah, I, I really do enjoy the city now, finally. You know, I don't like the homeless guy, you know, showering outside my window every mm. night. But uh, besides that, yeah, it's good. Oh, that was it, the third gang. The fat guys. The fat guys. The fat guys out of Manhattan are breaking in now. And I blame TV. Once mm. again, I blame the news. Well, you yeah. made a great point in the office. Because just before we went on the air, there's, there's a new home invasion. Not the one you're going to read about in the paper today. A new one that they just discovered. They had a live shot uh, from Long Island, Newcastle. And they showed, uh, they showed a, a bicycle in a driveway from like a helicopter shot. And said an attempted home invasion here. And uh, the guy just, uh, I guess... Uh, they thwarted it, the homeowners, and they, he left his bike and ran, took off on foot. Uh, but, you know, another attempt, and I think it's uh, these copycats is what's happening. It, it, they make it look easy. Yeah, the news is showing you, wow, look how easy this is. It's easy picking, so now these gangs go, all right, let's get a couple of guys together. We'll go out, we'll break in. And, uh, you know, t take money. There's money to be, uh, money for the taking at these places. That's the fat guys, right? The fat guys out of Manhattan. Nice. I'm a little scared of them, the Latin Kings, M18. And now, uh, you know, I, I am, uh, I, I was reading the paper, the locks at Home Depot, they showed this woman buying a <laughs> big this, lock. Look at this woman. Look at her. That's, look at her. That's gonna, that's gonna protect you from the fat guys. <laughs> Here's what you gotta do. What a bunch of dummies. People are lining up at the Home Depots to get the real expensive locks. The locks. Stuff. Yeah, that's gonna, that's no. gonna stop people. Here's what you gotta do, people of Nassau County. Guns! Guns. Today, oh. if when I leave <laughs> this, when I leave this station, I am going right to the gun store and getting myself a shotgun. All of a sudden, the rapier. You gonna sleep sleep with it? I'm not feeling. It's gonna be right there next to my bed. You really? And, right and, there. And you've had you've had like some training in in picking up guns and just. Oh, I'm. I'm no, he knows I'm how to really use a gun. good with guns. Oh He's my good. god. I mean, and not not in terms of shooting, but in terms mm -hmm. of, like you know, hear a noise and. No, you know, I'm not like crazy. Quick draw. No, like, not when the Puerto Rican comes in with the pistol to your head, it's like that gun is now his property. He robbed a cop, or which he thought he was a cop. So it, don't no, do it. Don't no. get a gun and Listen, get killed. Patrice, I sleep. He's just upgrading because right now he's protecting himself with a rapier. I have a rapier, which is <laughs> right. a sword. <laughs> that is my poor. Look at his face. Look at his face. That is my home defense right now. I can't believe what a white guy you are. I Andy have man. a sword. He has a oh, rapier. God. With a with a protection for his knuckles. <laughs> the M18 and the MS13. Yeah. Relatively new to New York. They're as formed uh, refugees from Salvadorian Civil War. They began arriving 20 years ago. Other games like uh, Vatos Locos, Trevisos, and Vagos are even newer. Born as recently uh, uh, arrived uh, Me Mexicans, responded to harassment from older gangs such as the Bloods, Latin Kings, and Nietas. 
With time, the immigrant street corner crews have grown larger, more numerous, and more violent. Where are they at? They're out on Long they're Island. They're everywhere. Dude, they're out on Long Island, these guys. The Latin kings are huge out on Long Island. But they can't just they're hang. Look at this. Here it is. Home invasion. Oh, look at us. Oh, what am but I going to They must. They have to stake you out or something. Like, they can't. Because just, just a, a mild-mannered, like, Mexican walking around without, like, Escorting, being escorted yeah. somewhere, yeah. is a is a suspect. It's like there's a port, there's a, there's a Mexican but in my in my area, so they're gonna call the cops anyway no. without that. Here's their mo: they drive around, they drive around these nice neighborhoods that are relatively close to the expressway or the parkway, and they cruise around slow at three in the morning, and uh, when they see a, a likely a yard, something maybe that isn't seen from the street, not well lit, something like that, they'll check the doors, they'll check the garage. They'll try to get in through an opening like that. If they can't, then move on. Try to find another one. If they can, you're fucked. They're coming in your fucking house. I sleep with my... See, now you two said he's getting the shotgun and everything. When I sleep, the bedroom door has a lock on it. That motherfucker's locked. You got a panic room? I have the panic room bedroom. So if someone breaks into the house, they're going to then have to break into my bedroom. I'll hear something outside. That's when I pick up and level the shotgun. Th through your wooden doors? Through my wooden doors. <laughs> through your wooden panic room door. <laughs> 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 Fucking Jody Foster there is yet there. to be a I home invasion doors, where they have man. hacked through my doors. <laughs> Four locks and an iron door. Is that house, what you got? Man. Absolutely. I, that's why I always live in apartments, man. I don't like creepy houses. I don't like... When I drive through Connecticut, it scares me more See, I don't like than the, apartments. the worst part of Brooklyn. There's nothing yep. worse than that creaky echo sound of the stairwell fucking iron door that just waiting to be robbed or raped in uh, in an apartment building. Man. Oh, the elevator don't work. But look, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, though. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Oh, no. Oh, no. But now you're scared. You're, you, you're more scared yeah. than when you lived in, in Brooklyn. You're right. Because of the illusion <laughs> yeah. of safety. Yeah. At least like an iron door. Put it this way. You're safe in your house when you have an iron door well, and all the true. creaking stairs and the and the whatever else. You're true. You're I mean, I, you know I, what I mean? I believe it. And there's always somebody around in New York. Always somebody around somewhere. A lot of people are calling in saying, buy a gun and fire away. Shotgun. This is just... I am purchasing the what, Mossberg. This is what white people do. This I'm is getting... Exactly. This is just a setup to be able to murder no. young, no. young, scared. Did Enterprising. You read this thing? They're they were afraid of other <laughs> gangs. Right, and, and had to leave. And this is just protection for them. And they need a little revenue. You know what, though? This is what will happen. Uh, if some guy... It breaks in or a gang breaks in. One guy gets killed in someone's living room. You know, a homeowner with a shotgun. Boom, he's dead. That'll cut back on this. Because That's then right. it'll be like, all right, it was easy pickings. They're starting to fight back. That's right. Let's move somewhere We're going to have to take one out, Patrice. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is, one, this, one's got to go. We're going to have to take one, one out. One We're has got to go. This is more non-understanding of violence <laughs> by the white man. <laughs> We're going to have to take one out. It's got to escalate. As violent as you people are, you just don't understand that all this is going to do. violent. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Let These kids you. are not afraid of some white dude who goes by a pistol. The M18 doesn't lack freedom. <laughs> we got to fight him. <laughs> it's MS-13. MS-13. No, and M-18. No, oh, okay. There's well, two. A bunch of people are, are screaming on the phones. It's, it's MS-13. I'm looking here. Gangs like M-18 and MS-13. It is the MS-13. They call it. Yeah, oh, we the MS-13, fool. Yeah. Fool-ass, mark-ass nigga. I'm sure there's some cur <laughs> curled up fingers right hey, now hey, trying hey, to <laughs> represent that. Hey, home. Hey, home. Hey, vato. Vato. Wearing those we <laughs> flannels with only the top button buttoned, the Look. collar. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Anthony Vato. Hey, two one, <laughs> two one. <laughs> Let's say hi to Jeff in Connecticut. Jeff. Guys, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Hey, We're having a good time with Patrice O'Neill. Excellent. Hey, listen. You know the one thing that nobody ever realizes is that when you dial nine one one, the police are never obligated to protect you as an individual. They're obligated to protect society as a whole. So buy a gun. Stock up, and when you drop one, you're exactly right. The the crime is going to drop. You look at places like Vermont, and what what's the crime where they can carry guns anywhere? Zero, nothing. 
So go for it. There you go. Mm. I don't agree with that. There man. you go. People it's, say if you shoot one of these guys, proven. then the whole gang proven. comes back for you. I just it's don't. It's yeah. Time and time again, it's proven that crime drops with uh, an increase in gun ownership. That's true. The people are afraid. Documented. That's true. It's just, it's just, it's just more conspiracy to kill the black and poor. Is Rico. that it? It just is. Well, well why aren't so, there self-respecting so white just guys, to Robin? Shoot, to shoot somebody, man. I live around murderers and stuff. You just mind your business. Uh, you know, we can't have them coming in our homes, yeah. Patrice. Just one home. This is what's killing. It's not. It's well, how many homes got invaded? I think uh, uh, up to twenty-five. About, that's that. Twenty-five, really? Yeah. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. I was gonna say four or five. <laughs> no, it's twenty-five, man, and they're just operating. But the, and Never the problem mind, is, these Mexicans. <laughs> they're all in my area. Yeah, just stay. Just I don't stay like out that. Of our neighborhoods. Stay out of my goddamn neighborhood. Uh, and then they have. We're staying out of your neighborhood. We don't no, go you're not. To... You go there to buy some drugs, Hell no. yeah, drugs. Or, or pretend you're an undercover cop. It's nothing. That's what. Get, what you're yeah. safe in our neighborhood. That's where you should move. Where black yeah. people are, there nothing will happen to you. Yeah. Nothing. Black people just don't bother white people. I wouldn't. Ever. You know what though? I wouldn't be able to drive anywhere. The second I hop in my car and drive, I'd be pulled over. What are you doing here? What are you doing in this neighborhood? <laughs> I love watching cops. I love when the white guys are driving in a little Toyota or something, and the cops pull them over. Where were you? Where were you coming from? Oh. A friend, um, I have a friend that lives... You've got no friend over here. What were you doing? What were you doing? No, I, I was dropping off something for... They never have the story because they were buying drugs and they nev They always get it out of them too, the cops. What, you were buying drugs. Like, well, yeah, I was... You're going to get yourself killed? Stay out of this neighborhood. Always some dopey white guy trying to buy dope from the uh, from the black guys. All right, well there you go. That's uh, get killed. That's an ongoing story. And I'm uh, trading in my rapier. I'm uh, upgrading. It's almost like uh, one of my favorite <laughs> games, uh, Age of Empires, Opie, where now I've reached a level where I have to now upgrade my forces, and I'm upgrading to the firearm age. Nice. I'm trading in the sword. Nice. <laughs> and the cavalrymen for uh, some musketeers. <laughs> I'm going to feel bad for you when you have to deal with the guilt of actually killing a human being. Man. The, you know something? There would be no guilt whatsoever. You don't think so? Not if some motherfucker broke into my house. If I killed someone accidentally driving, something like that, I would be... It would be the most guilt... I, the rest of my life would be spent uh, guilt-ridden. Some motherfucker breaks into my house, I would hope to get him in the kneecaps so I could just fuck with him a little bit. So I could ju I would I would hire people to play out the pulp fiction scene with the fucking rapist guy in the basement oh, <laughs> on the guy just out of pleasure that this motherfucker was trying probably laughing with his buddies with the last one that he got away with like all that shit plays out in my head <laughs> yeah Anthony that he's he really laughing you have dreams of being like a vigilante oh I would love it oh yeah <laughs> he's just waiting for the day this to kill dream, somebody right? dead dead <laughs> that's right dead and dead and say a catchphrase like you broke into the wrong L.I. crib baby <laughs> <laughs> yeah we need to we need to oh, come up man. with that. we need to come up with Anthony's catchphrase Anthony, today Anthony's catchphrase that, what's my catchphrase when I shoot this motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> That's your job today as as a uh, listener of this program. You just win yeah. catchphrase. I shot him and he went oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I got some uh, stats here. In Suffolk County, there have been 17 home invasions this year. Nassau has had at least 29 cases since December. 29 since December. Great. We're working on uh, 30. That's and a lot. That is. That is. Why is that not news? It, it is news it's, now. It's, it's, They're it's, just starting now, and it's because no one's done anything. The police presence isn't uh, hasn't been stepped up. Uh, the people are like, it's like sheep. They're like sheep. This one woman, they remember they just found that dead body of that uh, girl? Oh, yeah. That woman Sands Point? Uh, in Sands Point, which is like hoity-toity exclusive area. That is area. the Great Gatsby. That is the Great Gatsby house is right up there. They find her dead, and they're talking to the homeowners, and she goes, I can't believe this happened here. This is such a nice neighborhood. We all, uh, during the day, our doors are unlocked. Yeah, fucking advertise, asshole. Get on the news and tell people your doors are unlocked every day. They're unlocked in Canada, evidently, you know. Yeah, uh, evidently. I saw that with uh, Michael Moore. Walked yeah. around and was oh. able to open people's houses. We're going to get into the Michael Moore thing after the break. Yeah. That's a whole nother half hour, man. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Patrice were on the same page with that. Uh, biscuit eater. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hey, Ant, you need to not worry about those Mossbergs. You need a Remington 1100. Really? Remington oh. 1100? Why? 
That's an automatic. You don't want to be sitting there trying to pump off shots. You need an automatic, you know. I can't be jamming, though. I can't have any fucking automatic <laughs> shotgun jams. No, I take no, out a kneecap. No. I don't want fucking shell lodged in there. Nah, it's a Cadillac, man. Go with the, the Cadillac of shotguns? You know what? I'll yeah. tell you, one of your callers is going to call and tell you the perfect gun for killing a Mexican. <laughs> you know what? The uh, the Beaner 4000, that'll knock his head. <laughs> I need the Punisher. He picked a perfect day to be here. Oh, because yeah. if it was Bill Burr, it would be just a bunch of white guys talking like this is normal shit. But you're going you're gonna to show us the other Patrice side. Patrice has the thing. other side of it. Why are you getting a shotgun? <laughs> just let him come in and take some shit and tie up with a phone call. They're kind of short, right? So sometimes you miss. If you got big, big holes in your gun, it'll miss those little sons of bitches. So you got to get them little holes. Mexicans is short. What you need. See, they got an extra, they got an extra of uh, uh, juggler vein in their shoulder nobody know about. We cut one open the other day like a frog. Found they got six juggler veins, one in the knee. <laughs> Let's say hi to Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hey, what's up, fellas? Hey, man. Hey, I tell you what, don't go to an automatic. Stick with a pump, because then you rack that shell up in there, it's going to make them shit. Exactly. I, I enjoy the pump shotgun. They're more dependable than an automatic. More dramatic. Yeah. And uh, more dramatic. I love that Mo sound. Movie drama. I love the sound. Sometimes you rack that motherfucker up, the people go running. Why don't you get a 30-30? Yeah. I was thinking maybe a 50 cal. Yeah. Oh, a lever action? <laughs> lever. Why don't you get a... Uh, uh, I'm going to get me a Winchester. A Buffalo Bill one. <laughs> a six-shooter that I could fan with my hand. Hey, should we do... Uh... Pew, 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 pew. You guys want to do shootouts today? Take that, partner. Let's do shootouts today. Oh, people with their guns? Yeah. You guys, uh, if you want to shoot off guns today on the show, give us a call. This is mostly for Patrice, our Midwest listeners, not our city Patrice listeners. Patrice is in shock. Yeah. I'm, I'm that's, dead serious, that's man. Fair. The last time we did this, you should have heard the art the uh, artillery. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, we had some heavy artillery. All in Wisconsin. That, where yeah, they're yeah. getting ready that for some of the water. water. The militia. Why don't you militia. call them? Call them. Pay I could join. Is there a Long Island militia? <laughs> is there a Nassau County militia? They're holding a luncheon this Friday, the Nassau militia. <laughs> pay, for, pay for some of these guys from Wisconsin who's practicing for the end of the world and fly them Come over here. Let them bivouac in my backyard yeah. with some tents. Look how excited we are today. <laughs> I am so excited about getting a gun and oh, the potential of boy. one of these guys breaking in so, and me uh, offing them. Someone is asking, why not a dog, Anthony? Why not a dog? Oh, dogs. Uh, first of all, uh, the last home invasion, the people were initially alerted by the dog, uh, but the dog did nothing. The dog barked. Uh, the woman got up and uh, was accosted. But see, here's the, these people are planning this great because those the area you live in, they they kind of they know everybody has the little um, sissy dogs. Right. Yeah. And no one's gonna allow uh, somebody to walk around with a Rottweiler. Nope. It'll, it'll be it'll be like neighborhood. You know, uh, pressure to say, hey, no pit bulls, no rot. Any dog I, right. that have a use right. for that situation, this is, they're not going to have it. This, w uh, my neighborhood is the watering hole with the zebras around it yeah. and the elk, and that th they're just sitting there, and the tigers and lions and everything are just looking, going, this is some of the easiest shit we're ever going to get. And, and uh, something's got to be done. You're right. The dogs that I see being walked around the neighborhood are b Bichon Frises and little Yorkshire Terriers. It'll be more police that if your Rottweiler attacks a poodle oh, yeah. in your neighborhood, it'll be more police than mm -hmm. this home invasion. Yeah. And if, they, like you said, there's some rich Indians and stuff, let's be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. How many white people get home invaded? They might. These guys are genius, man. Uh, yeah, they're very smart. They're robbing Indians. They know exactly where to go. Yeah, but they don't know. What do they sniff for curry first? I'm, I bet you they, they're staking out, man. They're All right, not, here we go. You think you know. they're doing a little uh, stakeout first? We well, got a guy that uh, his house was broken into. Ed, on, right. uh, oh Illinois, actually. I thought it was L.I. Uh, Ed, what's up? Hey guys, great show. Yeah, uh, I drive truck, and uh, I got an assortment of guns. And uh, the shotgun, especially the pump, is the best. I was out on the road. My brother's home lives with me. He's about 27 at the time. Two. Uh, no offense to uh, your guest there, too. I guess what you guys would call swoogies broke in there. And my brother was arguing with him, and he had a ball bat in his hand, and he was getting nowhere. <laughs> my wife, Patrice, my yes. wife came out of the bedroom <laughs> with shotgun. I'm sorry to cut you off. Is the new word for nigga schmuggies out there? Schwuggy. Uh, Schwuggy. It's, a, it's been, a, G a Boston Jewish term. We have schwuggy? been using the word yeah. schwuggy for many years, Patrice. Behind our back? 
And yes, you keep are us, could you keep us <laughs> updated? <laughs> yeah. you didn't get the last that. one I heard was Moon Cricket, but yeah. could you please keep us updated with You didn't with get all the, the mailer? New... Yeah, I didn't get Schwuggies, you. <laughs> you know, I need a new white, white. I, you know, I, Cracker's getting old. Cracker's old, Listen yeah. to this. The, the old listeners, they get sick of us uh, telling the stories over and over again, but we got to tell Patrice where Schwuggie came from. It was Brucey Mittman. Uh, Brucey Mittman, our responsible general manager when we were up in Boston. Jewish guy. Jewish guy. Short Jewish tiny. guy. He, he had to be like 5'3". Drove a Suburban. He almost needed a fucking stepladder to get into. This guy was so short and so, so like, he knew he was short and he had to do something about it. So he got the biggest vehicle that rolled off an assembly Napo- line. Napoleon. At the time. Yeah, oh, Napoleon, yeah. Napoleon complex. Definitely. And um, we had raised some money. Well, we got in a lot of trouble. Yeah. For something. At this time, at this point, I don't even know what we got. I know. Trouble. I don't know what it was. But we had, we had done something where we uh, had a charity thing attached to our CD that we put out. Uh, it was a charity for. What was it? it I got was, it right there. I got it yeah, right it was well, the only people that would take our money. We, we, we put, tried the Jimmy Fund first. That's where we started the cancer for ki- the money for cancer kids. They wouldn't take our money. They did not want opium and antimony. They would rather a kid die of cancer than accept money from the, the sleaze bags that are opium and antimony. So we were trying to do a good thing because we didn't really make money off this thing. So we tried breast cancer. We tried this for, uh, diseases, cancer. More respected than Opie and Anthony. A lot of, yeah, a lot of uh, diseases said no to Opie and Anthony. So finally... We don't need your help. <laughs> finally, who came on board? Well, uh, I'm trying to find the credit now. Hold on a minute. Where the heck is it? On the back, maybe? Okay. Can I see that picture? No. Because <laughs> I know what that's going to be. There's some good pictures on there. Hold on. Where the heck is the uh, the charity? Schwuggies. Schwuggies, yeah. Yeah. Black people, we, need, we really need to come up with some new... All I know is Cracker and Hunky. Pat from right Wenaki saying my catchphrase should be "Don't fuck with a fancy man," very fancy. Or uh, <laughs> okay, you've been owned. Oh. As I finish casting, feel the cold steel of my rapier. No, sir, I will be using a a shotgun. The charity that finally said yes to us was. Come on. The New England Shelter for Homeless Veterans. <laughs> New England Shelter for Homeless Veterans. <laughs> Took your money. <laughs> they were the ones that finally decided to take our money. Can't you just send money? Uh, no, because there was a big presentation that oh, they, so had they had to be involved like, with. Support it. Right. So, so our we we obviously were working. So our boss wanted a little good press. He went down to deliver the big giant check. You know the big giant check? Yeah, the, <laughs> the yeah. lottery check. The yeah. big giant really check. Really huge. It's like, what, six feet across yeah. or whatever? <laughs> and uh, so he had to deliver, and it was a bunch of black guys that he was giving the check to. I guess they were minority, uh, uh, homeless, veteran thing. So And he actually was using this <laughs> oh, to, man. to get us out of trouble because we <clears throat> got into some uh, racial shit with yeah. another radio station. Now yeah. I now remember. <laughs> so... We were, we we got real ugly with a few people and uh, caused a stir up in uh, Boston. So they snapped some pictures of him handing over the check. And right. Everything. So, but as he's leaving to hand in this huge check to the Schwuggies, he comes in as we're doing our afternoon broadcast, all pissed off, going because of you guys. Instead of playing golf, I got instead to deliver this. Golf, I got w- to deliver this check to the Schwuggies. A and boy, that's where you, and that's where you heard it. That was the first, the time, first time I've ever heard it, it. But it existed before he said it. I guess. I guess in the Jewish community. Shwoogie. That's like a, a... But this guy is like Schwoogie. Schwoogie. You know, the Schwoogie. Yeah, how did it spread out to the Midwest? Ain't that something how... Ra- it's like racism really is like the internet. It's like... It is. But no, it where, really are the, is. where are the new white... What, how come there are no white terms? I need, a, oh, we need a new one. You employed guy. What are you going to call him? Really? <laughs> <laughs> you homeowner, you responsible father. <laughs> <laughs> we need to mix up. What's Shuggy mix with Swatza and uh, yeah, and Oodlies? <laughs> I don't even know where Shwoogie? it comes from. Yeah, I have no clue where that would come from. But what the root is, word is origin. Uh, but our general manager, who was all pissed off at us because of our racial shit that we got into, yeah. comes walking in after giving us a scolding, saying he's not going to be able to play golf that day because he, he's yeah, got to deliver the check to the Swoogies. I cannot believe it. And that, then he was man. in the local paper, smiling all big with uh, with all the black guys around him with the big check. Unbelievable. White people never <laughs> cease to amaze me, man. I'm trying not to be racist, and it's just like, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Swoogie. Mm. All right, we should take uh, our... Good luck, bro, is a catchphrase they're saying I should <laughs> good have. Good luck, bro. In a thunderous voice, headshot. 
people are, they're they're really getting the video game because they they know I'm into the first person shooter video games. They're really uh, kind of getting that into it. Uh, my catchphrase should be, "Sir, you are banned," because now I ban people from the uh, instant feedback when they're nasty. Uh, nothing really hit me though. I kind of like. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll get. I need a good, a good catchphrase. We'll get a good catchphrase for Anthony today. Oh, you you looked up the uh, the word shwoogie? It's in. Uh, Shwoogie, a member of the African American race. It's a definition in where? Urban Dictionary. But then. Uh, the, the second uh, oh. meaning, it says Schwiggy refers to the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> really? Was what their old boss, Brucey, at radio station WAF in Boston would call black people. Are we responsible for spreading this word? <laughs> I guess we were the ones. Your that, effing fault. You I guess we like technically we, uh, invented the term. I think Bruce <laughs> made it up. Brucey made it up. Uh, and then we just, through the power of radio, have spread it nationwide. And then it's used in a sentence. B -b boys did you see that schwuggy stealing that car? Mm. Someone said it's a Yiddish word for shadow. Oh. Mm. All right, whatever. So uh, let's say hi. One more call before we go to break. Uh, Tim on Long Island. Tim? Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, I'm laying in bed last night. I'm watching this fucking pathetic show, Dog the Bounty Hunter, you ever see that shit? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Well, anyway, I'm fucking hearing noises all over my house. I'm up all fucking night with one hand on my shotgun, the other one on my clicker. I didn't get any fucking sleep last night waiting for one of these maniacs to break in my yeah, house. Yeah, now every noise you hear outside. I got a oh, fucking man. raccoon <clears throat> that fucks with the garbage behind the house, right. and it just scares the piss out of me. You hear something, like, rattle around and go, oh, here it comes. It's going down. And there I go, there I go to my sliding glass door around back with the rapier sword in my hand. Like, like, it's, it's, it's hilarious how, like, I'm deathly afraid of white guys like that guy that just called it. Like, it's just, those white guys seem to be the most dangerous per people I've uh -huh. ever, you know, these fucking guys where I'm fucking there. And I thought that was Long Island. I didn't think Long Island was full of, like, citizens who really, like, you know... <laughs> Should be nervous. I thought it was just a bunch of Italians and no, like, the fucking guy with the thingy majiggy. You Certain areas. Nervous because if I see you in my neighborhood. <laughs> 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 Jesus, listen now, to that. I'm on the radio trying to entertain this guy. I'm fucking in You no come shit. into my fucking neighborhood, yeah, huh? You better fucking book Mother Billy Burr, you mother... Yeah, 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 guy, yeah. Pull your eyeball and shit, yeah. <laughs> you better leave my neighborhood and go to Howard Beach. They'll fucking treat you better, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> All right, let's... With that, let's take our first break. We got Rich Voss, uh, who's going to join the program as well Rich. today. Rich. Patrice O'Neill in studio. <laughs> As we go to break, something from our Demented World CD. What the hell? Wow. We'll do that today. Check this out. Yeah. We're back with the Opie and Anthony program. It's Whip'em Out Wednesday. Get the wow stickers on your car. I'm telling you, you got to be in it to, to see the boobs as you're driving around. That's not quite a good slogan there that you just spit out. I know. I you got to be in it to see some boobs. I was going to say, <laughs> you got to be in it to win it. That's taken by the lotto. I understand that. And But you are winning. If you're driving around, you get the wow in the back of your truck or car. Yeah. And all of a sudden a girl flashes you. you you're definitely a winner. Uh-huh. You're definitely a winner. And then I hear from uh, some of the guys that get... They get all bitchy because you know the set wasn't that good. Uh huh. Even a even a bad set of, of uh, boobies is is good in my eyes, right? Yeah. For the exactly. most part. Exactly. Exactly. You want to see them good, bad. Doesn't all right. matter. Catchphrases for Anthony. Oh pa my God. Pat from Monaki. <laughs> How do you like them apples? <laughs> that doesn't sound very strong. All right, we're trying them out here. Don't like that one. Stephen S. from Bayshore, Ant, yell out, you damn dirty ape. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, then, then, then Patrice comes running in. Oh, boss. <laughs> Jeff from Whackbag.com, I think this is the leader right now. Yeah. Tell Groucho Anthony says hello. <laughs> the Groucho reference. Uh, Alan from Philly, his catchphrase is Pacino plus Anthony plus Samuel L. Jackson, and it is, say hello to Mr. Wizard, motherfucker. Ugh, did I write that? And Mike from Winchester, Virginia, Ant's new phrase, you lose. Good day, sir. I like that one. Uh, uh, Elmo, your brother checking in. Uh-oh. Uh, Ant's catchphrase, sir, freeze, my finger's on the trigger. Culprit replies, huh? I'm confused. Your what's on the trigger? <laughs> Goofing on the fact that I say finger, finger differently than other people. <laughs> Bastards. And then uh, Hooligan from uh, Whackbag, my catchphrase, 
I've spent over 40 years of my life not allowing a black man into my house. I'm not going to start now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. it it's, it's hilarious. It turns. It always comes back to black people. Of course it, it does. It could be about Chinese gangs. Watch out, Negro. Yeah, right. <laughs> they said it was Mexicans and uh, El, El Salvadorians. Not one black person involved. They want to shoot black people so bad. I think the fat guys out of Manhattan, though. That might be black gang. But I'm not the sure. Fat guy, no. The black, fat guys? Black, black guys just don't they ain't do the that. fat guys? No. Fat guys? We know too much about law to... Yeah. To, <laughs> to know that it, like, don't do that. Like, all they're going to do is send these guys back to, you know... Guatemala? Yeah, squ Squigglevania. Squigglevania. <laughs> <laughs> Swoogieville. And, and it's like, black people want to stay. So we, don't, we know the crimes to commit. Right. You know what I mean? If we could figure out a better hustle than drugs, black people wouldn't sell drugs, man. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to go to jail and want to be dead. It, but these people are going back to, to the third world, man. De definitely. Yeah. That's all that's going to happen to them. All right, let's go to Dave on Long Island. <laughs> go ahead, Dave. You got a catchphrase for Anthony? Yeah. Uh, how about, excuse me, sir. Please prepare to be corrected. Ah. Punching out. <laughs> you have been corrected. And he wanted out fast. I don't know if I could yeah. trill, though. I like that, though. Roll, uh, roll the uh, R like that with a shotgun in my hand. You'll I might be, be too little, nervous. I might be shaking. <laughs> you correctly did. <laughs> what? I would be a shaky mess. <laughs> <That's> a shaky. <laughs> You'd think you'd be the guy, like, racking another round. <laughs> You want a little more, you know? You'd be, Dick, call the police! <laughs> Your 911 call, you want it to be this. Yeah, cops. Send over a couple of guys, and uh, you better send a body bag. <laughs> I'm feeling a little pissed. <laughs> you yeah. And then meanwhile, it's... <laughs> go, 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 Sir, I shot him, he's bleeding! Sir, calm down, sir. He's bleeding all over, send the car! <laughs> sir, calm down, sir. I can't, I'm trying to be cocaine! Okay. Sir, what's okay. going, sir, what's going on, sir? Oh my god, so I broke in! Sir, sir, broken with... I shot him! Sir, broken where? <laughs> sir, shot please. Him. Sir, where are you calling from, sir? <laughs> where are you calling from? <laughs> uh, uh, <great> <laughs> this is a uh, Sir, all I understood was shwoogie. Please, sir. <laughs> That's how they all go ahead. Let's say hi. You gotta go. Yeah, send a couple of your boys over here and pick up this mess. I don't know, you might want to leave the police at home. Just send the garbage man. I'll put the trash out back. Yeah, you want to be that cool guy in your... Fucking ass. Let's say hi to Eric. Eric, he has a shotgun for you. All right, Eric. Yeah. Good morning, boys. Hi. Morning, Eric. Anthony, I got a shotgun. I'll work your really smoking deal on. All right, what is it? It's a Mossberg pump. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got the extended magazine on it, so it holds seven shots instead of the normal five. Yeah. Uh, it's got a pistol grip front. Oh, uh, like that. Pistol grip uh, rear with collapsible stock. Folding stock. In video, in video games, they always hold eight. It's, yeah, right. It's got a. Uh, <laughs> You're right. It's got the, uh, it might be an eight shot. I don't. I, I don't remember. It's sitting in my closet, and I haven't touched it in about six, seven years. Uh, Jeez, where do you the, live? Uh, yeah. Paradise. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I live in Colorado, and I've got several handguns that I would prefer to use. Yeah, so would I. Jesus. Uh, Eric, uh, hurry it, up, Eric, because we got a guy that wants to do a shootout. I don't want to lose him. Uh, all right, it's got the uh, barrel cover, and it's also got the mount uh, for either a flashlight or a laser sight. All right, sir, email us, Steve, at foundrymusic.com, and he will get back to me. All right. Uh, I'm serious. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will. I'll, I'll send you a picture of it uh, when I get home tonight. Thank right, you, thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. All right. That's cool. Anthony's buying an Ill illegal gun. Ah, why not? <laughs> Live on the show. That's smart. You're able to buy guns like that. I know. Scott, yeah. New not York. Not handguns. Yes. Good what? morning, boys. Good morning, what? Patrice. Good morning. And Rich Voss joining the program. <clears throat> oh, and Rich. Good morning, Rich. What's happening? Uh, nothing. You boys wanted a little shootout this morning. Yeah, What? It, where are you? Uh, it's beautiful, sunny Cortland, New York. Cortland, New York. Okay. Yes. And what, what are you toting? Well, we got the whole myriad. Starting out light with the 22 and then working all the way up to the 12 gauge. You know, 22 is like a cap gun, my friend. Well, let's start with, so, a, let's start with that, though, just so we have okay. a reference point. All right. What are you, you shooting at? You can hear everything all right. So, you ready? Yeah. What, what are you shooting at? 
Uh, just a target. Picture of a rabbi. <laughs> why, why don't you just shoot a straight? Why don't you just take a chance? Straight, shoot it straight up in the air. No. Why not? You could hit somebody for miles. Just shoot, uh, shoot at a tree. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Oh my God. That great he sound. unloaded it, it's so that means he knows how to get sound. Oh God! I love guns. He unloaded it. Hey, is it illegal to get a shotgun? <laughs> or uh, you all right, no. you got that. Okay? Not, in New York City, you need a uh, permit to get even a long rifle or a shotgun. Can you go yeah, into Kmart like in Jersey and just pick one? To the paradise of upstate Once you bring it into New York uh, City limits, you're in trouble. Right. You can buy that a shotgun a outside of New York City. You can buy a shotgun or a rifle, but for a handgun, you need a license. All right, was that an automatic or he was squeezing the trigger? What, what uh, kind of gun was that? So that's just me squeezing the trigger every shot. And that was what, a twenty two? That was a twenty two, a Ruger 10-22. Oh, Ruger 10-22. What, a rifle? Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I love that one. It's oh, a that was wait semi-automatic. A semi-automatic? Wait a minute. Got a 10-shot clip? Correct. Yeah, I love that gun. Wait a minute. So, wait. If he has to keep pulling the trigger each shot, that's semi-automatic? Semi, yeah. Yeah. So, what's yeah. underneath that? Uh, all right. Uh, so, the next one I got is... All right. Uh, here we go. Go ahead. Here we go. 32 caliber pistol. 32. Listen to this. A little Saturday night special. Go. Wow. You know how many Sicilians heard that right before they oh. just joined the great unknown? <laughs> a little 32. I love them. That's the snub nose. Uh, that's the f- that's the famous one. There, yeah. Right? Like yeah. The, uh, uh, with yeah. The, with, the, with the pearl handle. Yeah. yeah. Pearl handle. Yeah. Nice gun. Oh, man. Yeah. Not very accurate, but you don't need to be very close. That's, that's just scary. Next one is kind of a law enforcement special. It's a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber. Oh, nice. And can you hear it cycle at all? I don't now is that instant death? Is that last one instant death? Uh, it's it's kind of you can think about it for a while until you get hit with the last shot. Yeah, the thirty two the headshot he's done, but the body shot with the thirty two you're walking a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Ooh. this now, this, this gun'll kill you right away. This is death right <laughs> yeah. here. Yeah. Instant death. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Nice! <laughs> that's that's just death. You that's were dead after the, the first two shots. Done. Right? Done. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is. Look at listen to that laugh, you fucking I asshole. love it. He's like, he, he just came. That is <laughs> great. That is fantastic. Oh. Now we've, we've worked it up that far. The next one is the Dirty Harry. It's the Smith & Wesson Model 2944 Mag. Make my mag. The most powerful Make handgun gun. All right. Now, I'm going to shoot this one round at a time, even though I can shoot a double action, because it's a bit of a bear to shoot repeatedly, to hold on to. All right. Ready? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's death. Oh, oh, I love that it. That is right. That is through your... That is death. <laughs> that is a fantastic sound. <laughs> wow. now, do you, now, you, do you hear that as you're getting shot? Like, is that... It all depends on where that, he's shooting you. I don't think you ever cap, hear it. In the kneecap, you're hearing that. Yeah, that's true. Which is the one that blows a big hole out of your bag? That's that one. Pistol. What's that? Now, this is, this is pretty much my turkey hunting shotgun. This uh-huh. is a Remington 1187 semi-automatic. Semi auto, okay. Right. Uh oh. Ready, set? Yeah. <laughs> is that like, what is that shape like? Is that like a glass? That's a 12 gauge. No, that's a 12 gauge shotgun. <laughs> that's a shotgun. Just, uh, yeah, pull the trigger as fast as you can pull it. There's the and then, just for yeah. Anthony, because I know how much you love your pumps. Yep. We're going to go with the Remington 870 pump. All right. Ten times better than that Mossberg. You're better than that up. Mossberg garbage. He likes the Remington. This guy's a Remington man. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. Did you hear it cycle? Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> I love All it. done. That it, bravo, sir. That's real. Scott. See, it's not even fun to listen to it when it's real. You rule. Like it's so real. It's like it, yeah. 
Like it's, it's, it's missing the base. It's missing the base of the movies. Right, right. The shotgun is like, boom. Yeah, boom. That's the real <laughs> That's shit. That's like real right. death. There is no substitute for the real thing. What's right. left of a turkey after you Thank shoot Thank you, Scott. Yeah, <laughs> what are you gonna, that's all right. Yeah, let me he shoots a turkey with a with 22. I know. With the first going, bat, bat, bat. <laughs> Delicious. It's a little feathers flying. Uh, someone saying my catchphrase should be, stand back, sir. I'm a level 72 wizard. <laughs> I don't think that would really put him off too much. Well, there's a couple more coming in. Oh, my brother again. Catchphrase, welcome to the fucko list. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tom from North Carolina, smile so I can see you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> More black people. Will you More get... black people. What is wrong with these? <laughs> Did you have somebody breaking your house or something? No, but no. Uh, Nassau County uh, home invasions are up like crazy. Yeah. I change every lock on my door because, and I bet none of you guys do this. What, Rich? When I go drop my car off at the airport or in these parking lots, this and that, I was driving home and it hit me. These guys have my keys and my address. They can just go make copies of it, of the keys, and they have my address from the registration. How hard is it for them to break? You pull your car in the airport and go, when are you coming back? Two weeks. Well, they and they would wheel up to the stately Voss Manor well, and first, uh, unload your antiques. It doesn't matter. They don't know what I own. Okay, but uh, you know what? He builds all his own furniture. And as, it, 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 yeah. you are, you are. How do they have your address? How do they paranoid? have your address? In your glove compartment is your registration and your uh, and your insurance card that has uh -huh. your address on it. Okay. So they have your keys. Anybody, can, you don't know these guys that are parking cars. So your house like keys and your address. He's, he's, he's right. Not your you house know keys though. Of uh, course, your house keys are house on your keys car are on keys. your keychain. Maybe. All right. You, you know our your, houses have. Did you we have don't your, climb up you, to our house. Oh, Here's the thing. Oh, wait, did you have okay. your, wait a minute. What? Did you have your car keys? Oh. You, they were stolen. You, are you just dumb? Listen to me, Patrice. They're taking clay. And they're Not like clay. putting it in Ooh, their yeah. impression oh, the in the clay. No, listen, first of all, there's no way. Let me tell you how, how do you copy him. your keys? You go to Kmart or to it? for at least seven years. Yeah. Voss is not smart enough. To come up with this Are hypothesis you crazy? himself. Are you, yeah. I, I, Someone you told, told you. He got, you don't think I know you. about crime? Are he you got out of your mind? He got it from a movie. Bonnie. Bonnie. I didn't get it from a movie. Yeah. He got it from a movie. Bonnie, Bonnie told you. Bonnie, Bonnie told you. Yeah, she knows about crime. Here's the thing. Let me tell you something. You don't know these guys that are parking your car. They have your car for two weeks. Paranoid. You don't have to go through a, a clay. You go to a lot. He takes the keys home at night and gets coffee. Boss, made. you have a 1982 Benz no, I got and a, a Benz 1972 and a... Beamer. Who's stealing are what? You, are you just so dumb? Are you are really? Yes. I didn't say my car. They have the keys to your house when you leave your car in a parking Nobody's lot. Nobody's breaking into your townhouse, Rich. How do you know? How do you know? Do you know? That, they don't I've, know what I have. Because no, I, you've never been to my townhouse. This house. is not an epidemic. Okay. This is, right. you yeah, I haven't really you heard know? any stories about parking attendants. This is uh, robbing being overly people. paranoid. Would you just go up to a stranger and go, here's my keys, hold them for two weeks? We yeah, the one that works at, at, at the yeah. damn steakhouse, at, yeah. At the uh, garage somewhere, yeah. you do it all, all right. the time. Which, how many people are handing over their keys right now as we talk? You're right. And how many of them are getting into a problem? You know, a lot of the that. navigation systems in cars right now, you program in your house, so all you got to do wherever you are is hit home. Yeah. And, uh, and the car will drive the, you there. The car pretty much tells you how to get home. Yeah. So now they don't even have to look at the Reggie. They can turn it on, punch in home, drive your own car to your house, and load it up. Yeah, but you got to know really how to work did, those you things. Really They're did pretty just tough. Destroy his belief system and <laughs> no, what he just said. He's like, oh, okay, I feel uh, much better. But they still need 